Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some pretty interesting news to go cover when it comes to the Nintendo Switch 2, Switch Pro, Super Switch, whatever you want to go call it, where we actually did actually have this come out on the, well, official legal documentation that there is one on the way, which we kind of already know, but we also have a little bit more actual specs to as well on top of this when it comes to the upcoming Switch 2. Now, I do want to go and say this did actually come out maybe like one or two days ago, but I want to go and just highlight it now, mainly because we had a lot of really big news to go cover from the PlayStation Xbox trials this past week or so. But now that this kind of a little bit more on the chill and wind down side, we have a little bit more time to, well, talk about other random stuff, or maybe we could take a break too as well. Keep on telling you guys one of these days, I want to take a few days off to kind of have a nice little reset and get some other things all situated, kind of get in the motion for the next upcoming wave of our content. But just letting you guys know, we have a lot of Nintendo stuff to talk about, so let's go talk about. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. We have the Twitter and Twitch room down below. If you guys are bored and want to say hi, give me your thoughts and comments down below. We have also the Amazon link for the good old consoles too, and leave a like. Let's go and dive on into the video itself. So you guys are probably no strangers to love because I know the rules that we pretty much need a nice little Nintendo Switch coming out soon. Right now, the big people are kind of just complaining, like when it comes to the actual console itself. Stats are bad. Everything's slogging. You try to play Tears of the Kingdom, it was an overall good vibe, which I did enjoy the game, but there definitely was still a lot of FPS issues and lag, especially if you find an older console and not an OLED. But as well, we are still waiting for the next proper generation. It does seem like a lot of information came out for it as of right now. Now, when it comes to these big legal car cases, we had a lot of console talk where basically like, is Nintendo a proper console? Is it not? Is it good? Is it a competitor with PlayStation or Xbox? What are the stats? Is it good for PC? What's going on? Do we have a new Switch coming? Call of Duty is special. It's a big talk of them trying to go and segue into more of the Nintendo Switch itself and trying to be like, hey, is the Nintendo Switch actually like worth it? Do we want to invest time? Do we want to go actually pay the developers to make a Switch version? Will people buy it? Will it be able to be running? Will it actually be a comparable game? Because right now, if you try to put Call of Duty on, well, the current Switch, it'd probably be horrible. But we have a lot more information coming out over here from the court case, where the Nintendo Switch 2, Activision Blizzard reveals the NG Switch on par, apparently, though, with the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. Which, very first and foremost, just the headline. I feel like it needs a little bit more gusto. I'm not sure if it's just me. I'm not sure if it's you guys, whatever it might be. <sighs> I don't know. Like, I mean, you can't really have a PS5, especially being more of a handheld console. I get that. It would get too hot. It would be too bulky. The battery life would be horrible. I understand that price point may not be that good as well. On the same point, if they try to push a PS4, we did see some pretty decent looking games on the PS4. They were not perfect. They weren't insane. But I think most people, you guys can chime in your thoughts, kind of would agree that I just want to go and have like a consistent frame rate, I think, on my Switch and like graphics that don't look like a PS1 or PS2 game. I think that's all I kind of want in this day and age. Like, I have a, I've had some pretty good phones that can run out some pretty good graphics, and they could have a pretty decent battery life. So, at the same time, I want an actual proper gaming console to be somewhat comparable to it. So, now that we have a lot of other things like the Steam Deck and other various big handles, too, as well, the Asus ROG, etc., where a lot of folks are able to go and will get good frames and actually make the games run good and have a decent battery life, and they're all mobile. So, the Switch is not necessarily really competing against, like, the PS5 or Xbox, although they are, and as you guys understand what I'm saying, Thing, it's also more so kind of focusing on the, like, say, handhelds, like, say, the Steam Deck. So they're basically kind of hitting two different markets where you can hit the casual market a little bit more, but also now with other bigger, even on the more casual side, because you don't forget a lot of these Steam indie games can be played on things like the Steam Deck, or also just be, like, put through an actual, like, I don't know, I, I never know the proper, like, word for, like, emulator pretty much on these separate types of consoles as well that can basically make them go and work. So basically, Activision Blizzard CFO has provided hints about the capabilities of the next generation Nintendo Switch disclosed in Microsoft's FTC hearing, it seems like that Activision Blizzard believes NG Switch is powerful enough to make something compelling for him. Now, it's a kind of a good thing to go and note, because that does mean that the next Switch console will have more power, and it also means that we might actually have even more games, or once again, maybe bring Call of Duty to it. Now, do I really want all the random five-year-olds playing, like, Call of Duty? Uh, no. I don't think they should, number one, do that. Number two, their parents shouldn't probably allow it. Number three, I don't know. I just, like, I feel like you could enjoy the good old Mario games, Zelda games without it. But uh, that is probably going to be a valid concern. So Nintendo remains quiet on releasing a Switch 2, which makes us upset. We keep on waiting to hear some news on an like, upcoming, like, Nintendo Direct or just a big announcement, whatever, with Microsoft and Sony having moved into its ninth generation of console games nearly three years ago. doesn't feel like that at this point. However, Activision Blizzard has offered insights into the unreleased console during Microsoft's ongoing FTC hearing. 
Incidentally, the same hearing also revealed Microsoft's expectations for the price of Project uh, Q, which only plans to release before the end of 2023. Now, if you guys want to do a quick little video on that throughout the next few days or so, I don't mind, but it's kind of crazy to see because it uh, seemed like Microsoft was trying to go release their thoughts and process on the PlayStation Project Q, which is the handheld, which once again would also be a little bit of a competitor towards a Switch, especially if they're kind of streaming or having PlayStation 5 games able to be played on the Project Q. So basically the specs are way higher on the PlayStation side, although maybe more niche. That kind of basically means that they also have to have a bigger comp competition with Nintendo when it comes to graphics. In an email sent to Nintendo, Activision CFO Armin Zerza acknowledges that it should be a reasonable to assume that Activision Blizzard can make something compelling for new G uh, the next generation Switch as well, basically saying that they do probably want to bring Call of Duty to this next upcoming Switch console, which once again would maybe mean they have other games. Like for some odd reason, if they have a Switch 2, Super Switch, whatever, I can definitely see Overwatch actually maybe being a really good, fun game that would maybe work out well on the Switch. I'm not sure if they have enough buttons and all that stuff for it, but I mean, like in theory, it'd maybe go and work. Or maybe some of the various games too, like a Diablo. I can see that also being a very good game on the Switch and make actually be a fantastic game. Uh, now, I'm sure Call of Duty has been on like the Nintendo consoles before. If you guys remember, I used to go over to my buddy, uh, my buddy Bobby's house and he used to go and play on the Wii. Uh, the old school Call of Duty, and people actually played online, like surprisingly enough. I was always very impressed with that, in all honesty. Uh, so that's just weird. It's weird to think about that. But yeah, I mean, people do play Call of Duty on the Switch. So basically, for this one, they did say they can potentially make a compelling game over here for this next upcoming Switch console. Zerza explains that this would be possible thanks to the unreleased console, so the Switch 2, representing closer alignment of Gen 8 platforms, so the PS4 and Xbox One. Those being the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. <laughs> for reference, those consoles offer a minimum of 1.3 teraflops and 1.84 teraflops of nominal performance in along with eight gigabytes of RAM. So run around too bad. In comparison, there have been hints that Nintendo is developing a Switch successor based in the Tegra T239 and 4 T or a flops port. Reputedly, the te uh, Tegra T239 is a customized Tegra 2 CT234 <laughs> that utilizes NVIDIA Amphere architecture with 2000 CUDA cores. Theoretically, the Tegra 2, t this is like what, such a weird thing, T239 will yield a tenfold nominal performance increase over the current Switch models. However, this is likely only true with the unreleased device in dot mode or connected to a power outlet. Nintendo prevents the original Switch from using all of its power in the handheld mode, which basically means you want to go put that into your actual handheld console too as well. So kind of cool to see that we pretty much do have actual information coming out for the Switch 2. This is from proper legal documents as well as also uh, to the government and as well also from Activision CEO Conversations, or so we'll CFO. So it has a lot of merit. This pretty much is like all confirmed because it's all just from these big, big company boys. So it's kind of cool to see that the, uh, the game console will at least have some sort of power. Not sure how good it will be in comparison wise though. And it's a huge, at least over, it looks like 10 times complete power, computing power over the prior generation. Although that may not be the biggest, biggest thing because don't forget like Imagine like an iPhone 1 to like an iPhone 5. Like it's just a way better thing, but it's still not really noticeable that much, especially if you guys play on like a laptop or PS5. But either way, like I want to see Nintendo games in more frames, better graphics, better resolutions. And I love this shell shading, don't get me wrong, but it's been kind of overdue. I want to get some more proper, good looking games. So I want to hear your thoughts and comments on this one. Like I said, it's all on the actual legal court docs. So give me your thoughts and comments down below. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Are you guys excited for it? I'll probably pick one up myself if there's actually good games on it. We have the Twitter and Twitch down below if you guys want to follow. We have all the Amazon links too as well. And I appreciate you guys also for watching in the first place.